What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's been a little while, but I'm back now. And I got to say right off the bat, I know I'm going to get a comment about it. If you hear the thing in the background buzzing, that's my fan. It's like 110 degrees here, literally, in California. And if I don't have that, I'm going to pass out in this booth. But without further ado, I'm doing a Kogma guide because he's free to play this week. And I figured people would have some questions. And this is one of my most played 80 carries. So here it is. Mastery's 21 and 9. I figured I didn't really need to explain the heal. Um, but this is just all standard meta stuff. I don't go over it that in depth because I've gotten comments that are like, please dude, shut the hell up. We get it. It's 21 9 and heal. But I will go in depth with these. Nine seals of armor, nine glyphs of eight, or, or sorry, nine marks of AD, three quints of attack speed because it scales better than AD, five glyphs of MR, and four scaling glyphs of MR because as soon as mages turn level six and, and they get into that groove where they're getting their ultimate and they can now burst down your mr just keeps scaling up from there and i like it it's not very popular but i find it works out pretty good so here's the rap on kogma if you're just getting into him if you go into lane and you're playing kogma and you think you're gonna do good and you get your ass kicked that's all right we all get our asses kicked in lane of kogma i do all the time i mean it's just how it is because that's what you trade when you do the most damage late game you got to give up something. So COG gives up the early game. And if you feed um, two, three kills, that's okay. Try not to go to three. Try just two max. But if you do get to two and three, it's all right. You're fine and you'll be okay. Once you get past that 35 minute mark, that's when COG gets dangerous and you'll actually do something. But until then, just farm. Unless you get uh, a few 80 carries that you can actually out damage. And I'm going to put those on the screen right now. Excuse my editing skills. I'm sorry. I apologize but it works so Sivir has low DPS all game she does the least damage out of any AD carry you can easily trade with her twitch does not have a good lane phase at all he's quite like you except he has extremely low range compared to cog when he has his W and the same thing with Vayne and these are all AD carries you can easily out trade these guys Kate has extremely long um, range Lucian has burst and Draven is just you know, you're never going to win a trade with Draven in lane. He's a lane bully, and that's just how it is. Um, Tristan is hit or miss, and people like Ezreal are hit and miss because they can dodge, and Kog'Maw's a lot of skill shots. So just keep in mind that you can win against any laner, um, pretty much except for Kate and Draven. Um, that's not even really a skill matchup. That's just, I don't know, you just got to farm. So when you go back, 9 out of 10 times I would get Sheen because the W procs it, and it works really well with mana and AP. Um, but this time I got Phage. Phage is a very viable option too because when you do damage to a champion with Phage, grants you movement speed, it grants you the extra health. Kog'Maw has the lowest HP in the game out of any AD carry. And extra damage. Right here I'm training with Morg. I'm a little rusty. I just got banned um, for two weeks for, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, I was emotional. But see how we are just winning trades. Jinx stands no chance. Um, against Cog and Lane. A good Jinx does, but 9 out of 10 times, it's just not going to happen. So when you are laning with Cog, though, you're going to want to max W. W is your bread and butter. It gives you more damage, it gives you more range, it makes Cog what he's meant to be, aka the hyper carry. And um, Q will grant you 30% attack speed max rank, E's a slow, and R is, you know, the cannon, um, the barrage, and what makes Cog pretty fun, actually. And that's why I like this guy, man. He's unique, <clears throat> and he's fun to play. If you've never played COG with six items, you're missing out. And here's an example of what I'm saying. is uh, This is just natural. Braum gets tagged with the slow. He gets the dark binding, and it goes downhill from there. I try to save him. I don't know why. I get exhausted. I get more golted, and that's pretty much it. But it's okay. I try to get that off on her, but my ult cooldown doesn't go off in time, and I misplayed that really bad. Like I said, rust, but... That's all right. It's going to happen. This is what I mean. Strongest hyper carry in the game. Maybe Vayne would devour at this point. I don't know. Great poke for an AD carry. The ult. Has armor magic resist shredding on his Q. Solid slow on his E and can carry games 35 minutes in. That's written by me and I, I believe all those. Cons. No mobility or escapes. Doesn't have the tumble. Doesn't have the Lucian dash. One of if not the weakest AD carry lane phase. I believe he is the weakest next to Twitch. And pretty much everything is a skill shot except for his W, which ties into his auto attacks. So this guy's very skill based. Um, I'm gonna show you a team fight right here. Braum pretty much gets caught, and Rumble lays down his ult, so I'm kind of pushed to the back. And Zed immediately 
goes in on Evelyn, or sorry, Anivia, and I just start trying to damage right away, and it doesn't really work out so well. I'm kind of getting tied in the back here. They picked off our tanks. I managed to pick off Jinx, and I'm going for Rumble next because I know Zed's out of everything. He already ulted, and look at what I'm doing. I'm kiting with the ultimate, and I end up picking him off, but that's a bad team fight. That's a bad team fight purely for the fact that my positioning was pretty bad from the beginning. Um, I just, pretty much the whole team was. We just let them cut through it. But as COG, you, you have to be there and you have to do the damage. And I'm going to go over more on positioning later in this vid. So the, the build you're going to get 9 out of 10 times. Zerker's Greaves, probably with Alacrity because Trinity Force grants you the uh, Fuhrer um, attribute on its own. Blade of the Ruined King, Anti-Tank Shredder, Last Whisper is always necessary on COG, IMO. Infinity Edge and Banshee's Veil is extremely underrated. It's better than GA in my opinion. Um, GA's trash, I don't care. Um, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't, and I'm one that doesn't. And I don't know, I just do not recommend it. Shiv, Phantom Dancer, or Runins. Runins, Hurricane, trash, throw it out on COG. Um, I've seen people replace Blade of the Ruined King with Phantom Dancer. That's very viable if there's no tanks. Um, but I really like Blade of the Ruined King on COG just for the lifesteal because we don't have a bloodthirst or anything. Now, COG works very well with people like Nami, Lulu, and Janna, AP mages. Um, he can work with a Thresh. I don't like Blitz because you can bring a target like Graves into COG's space and he'll just burst him. And if you're laning against a lane like a Vayne with Leona or a Blitz or a Thresh, anyone that can really trap you, even a Morg, um, is not good because of COG's limited move, um, moverability, mobility, and it's just not great. Blitzcrank is always hard against, um, you know, hard to lane against. Sorry, I just caught a bug right there. Um, but obviously it's a lot easier with people like Graves, and it's just not good. So look at this team fight. My team's fighting in the jungle, and I see Vayne, I'm, or Jinx on the map. I'm like, okay, Rumble's not here, but he's TPing in, and Jinx somehow thinks she can fight a Kog'Ma with three items. Um, didn't work out very well for her, and once again, we can never seem to fight as a team at the moment. Olaf is backdooring, which is alright, that's to be expected from him at, at this moment in the meta, and I managed to go ahead and pick off Rek'Sai there with the help of Brom Prox. Brom is very good with Kog'Maw, very good pick. Um, the only thing I don't really like about Brom is early, he's a little useless, all he can do is just, you know, what is it, throw Qs out, but that's alright. So, see as Kog'Ma right here, I got a flash away, I'm stuck in the Morgul, and I'm pretty much just in the back doing damage. Um, positioning, I feel can't really be taught in a guide. Uh, I remember when I was learning to AD carry, and I, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, and I was always trying to learn how to position, um, just play a lot. Play a lot of AD carry, and you'll learn to kite, and you'll pick it up, and um, I would recommend playing somebody like a Graves first, or like a Sivir, and you'll get it. Positioning's not that hard, but it depends a lot, you know, on just just uh, mechanic, mechanical-wise. Uh, man, I, I just got a, a bug here today. I'm sorry about that. So, Fizz was in the bush. Look at that. I'm going to slow this down here. Look at the combo. You got to always Q him first, and then you can use your ultimate, and then into your E, but always make sure you Q. I, I can't say that enough. Q shreds armor and MR, and that'll make people just topple. That, combined with the Last Whisper and Blade of the Ruin King, you are the tank shredder. Um, I don't care, Vayne, whoever, Cog is the real tank shredder with those items, and he really can't be stopped. Look at this right here, as I hit him with the ultimate, bam, but yeah man, Cog, um, he takes some skill. I'd say he's a little bit higher on the list, and you can't just hop into Cog if you're in, um, a little bit of a higher elo, maybe a lower elo maybe, but he's very easily counterable. If you play him in draft, no doubt you're getting countered right away. And look at Nami right here. I'm going away, bam, lands the bubble on Shaco, makes it extremely easy to pick up a double kill, and I don't know what Twisted Fate's doing next to this Kog'Maw, but he just got me an easy triple kill. And if you really want a reason to play Kog'Maw, other than the damage and other than he can carry games, is just that fact. That's the only reason you need. Um, if you're looking to get into ranked or solo play and you're really confident in your AD carry skills, um, stuff happens, trolls happen, but 9 out of 10 times, if you make it to 35 minutes in, I'm going to carry with Kog'Ma, and the other people who play Kog'Ma are going to carry with him because his damage is just that insane. But uh, anyway guys, if the video helped, this one took me a little while, I won't lie to you, it took me a while, I've been a little rusty since I got back. But uh, we're here again, as always, thanks for watching, leave a comment, 
and don't forget to subscribe for more guides. Peace.